Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the cell organelles. The organelles of a cell all work together to help keep the cell alive. Much like our own organs work together to keep us alive. Here's a list of the organelles I cover. I will cover the mitochondria, lysosome, ER, the ribosomes, the cytoplasm, Golgi body, and chloroplasts. I also will cover vacuoles and the cytoskeleton. So let's get mitochondria started. Mitochondria has been called the powerhouse of the cell because it produces energy in the form of ATP for cells. Mitochondria are found in both plants and animals, but not in bacteria cells. Mitochondria are also found in the cytoplasm of the cell. Here are a couple pictures of what the mitochondria look like. Mitochondria produce energy in a process called cellular respiration. It takes oxygen and sugar and makes carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Cells that require large amounts of energy, like muscle cells, will have large amounts of mitochondria. You cannot see mitochondria with a normal light microscope. You need an electron microscope. Here's a picture of a mitochondria under an electron microscope. A mitochondria has a unique shape. It has two layers and it's folded on the inside. The mitochondria can reproduce by growing larger and then dividing. If the cell needs more energy, it divides and produces more. Regular exercise will increase your number of mitochondria. As a result, you are better able to produce energy and burn fat. And finally, mitochondria contain DNA and ribosomes. Lines help break down old cell parts and digest materials brought into the cell. They may also be used to digest food or break down the cell when it dies. Lysosomes have a single membrane and are filled with digestive enzymes. A lysosome is created at the Golgi apparatus. The proteins of the lysosome are first created at the rough ER and are packed in a vesicle that is transported to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus uses these proteins to make digestive enzymes and creates a vesicle that pinches off. This vesicle that pinches off is a lysosome. Lysosomes are found in the cytoplasm. When materials are brought into the cell, lysosomes can attach to these objects and begin to break them down. Lysosomes will also break down other organelles like mitochondria if the cell does not have any food or the mitochondria is not working properly. Lysosomes will even digest bacteria that enters the cell. Hope that helps in understanding why the lysosome is so important for the health of plants and animals, but not in bacteria cells. If you take a look at the ER, you will notice that it consists of folded membranes and looks like a transportation system. The ER is located near the nucleus and helps the cell transport important materials throughout the cell. Let's look more closely at the function of the endoplasmic reticulum. First, there are two types of ER, rough and smooth. Rough ER, or RER, is located very close to the nucleus. The rough ER gets its look because the tiny protein factories called ribosomes are embedded in its membranes. The rough ER produces proteins. Some of these proteins will be transported by the ER to the Golgi apparatus. Others will move across the ER to other parts of the cell or will be packaged in small sacs which will pinch off from the ER and travel throughout the cell. 
smooth ER looks smooth because it does not have any ribosomes. It has a different job than the rough ER. The smooth ER produces important chemicals called enzymes. Some of these enzymes will pinch off in a vesicle and travel to the Golgi apparatus. The smooth ER also produces lipids, which are important fats used by the cell. The smooth ER will transport these lipids throughout the cell or will package the lipids in sacs called vesicles and release them into the cytoplasm. In summary, the ER is a transportation system used by the cell to create and transport proteins, enzymes, and lipids throughout the cell. Ribosomes are small protein factories found in cells. They are located in the cytoplasm and on the ER. See the small dots on the ER and in the cytoplasm? These are ribosomes. Here is how a ribosome makes a protein. In the cytoplasm, DNA is transcribed to RNA. The ribosome reads this RNA in triplets and the correct amino acids are put together to create a protein. Ribosomes are found in plant, animal, and bacterial cells. Why is the protein important that the ribosomes make? Let's are long strands of amino acids. There are 20 types of amino acids in your body to create proteins. What are some of the jobs of proteins? Some proteins like collagen are used as building blocks and structural support for hair, nails, skin, ligaments, and tendons. Some proteins are enzymes, which help speed up chemical reactions. Some proteins help with digestion. Pepsin is used in your stomach to help with digestion. Some proteins move molecules from one place to another. Hemoglobin found in blood helps transport oxygen throughout the body. Proteins also help in muscle contraction. The protein actin and myosin are both involved in muscle contraction and movement. Some regulate body function. Protein insulin regulates glucose metabolism by controlling the blood sugar concentration. Antibiotics are proteins produced by the immune system to help remove foreign substances and fight infections. As you can see, the proteins produced at the ribosomes from the DNA converted to RNA help the cell and body stay alive and our cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is referred to as cytosol. It is a clear, jelly-like substance. It is a little thicker than an egg white. Take a look at this egg white. Cytoplasm in the cell as water in a pool. A pool does not function well without the water filling it up. The organelles are suspended in the cytoplasm, a little like these floats are in this next video. Cytoplasm is located between the nucleus and the cell membrane. The cytoskeleton present in the cytoplasm gives the cell its shape. The cytoplasm also has nutrients and salts and it aids in dissolving some waste products. It helps move cellular materials and organelles around the cell through a process called cytoplasmic streaming. Here's an example of cytoplasmic streaming. Notice how the chloroplasts move in the euglena cells. In summary, the cytoplasm is a clear, jelly-like substance found in cells that contains nutrients and salts and helps give the cell its shape and helps the cell move materials. Apparatus. 
You may have heard the Golgi apparatus is a bit like a post office. It receives proteins, repackages them, then sends them out into the cell, like a post office does. In fact, that's a little bit what the Golgi apparatus does. But first, where is the Golgi apparatus located? It is located by the ER. The side closest to the ER is called the cis Golgi, and the outside is called the trans Golgi. It is found in all eukaryotic cells, so it's found in plant and animal cells. First, the ER repackages proteins and biochemicals into vesicles. It then pinches these vesicles off and sends them to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus receives these proteins, lipids, and other chemicals from the rough ER and modifies and packs them into vesicles. These vesicles then pinch off and travel to three locations. They may travel to the lysosome and carry digestive enzymes to help the lysosome with digestion. Secondly, some travel outside the cell. They go to the membrane and travel outside the cell, like insulin that will help with the blood sugar level. And finally, some travel to the plasma membrane and provides proteins for repair and replacement. Hope that helps with the gold class. Chloroplasts are green organelles found in plants and some protists like euglena. They help these organisms by converting solar energy into chemical energy. Take a look at these chloroplasts moving in this plant cell. They are important to cells because they are the site of photosynthesis. Chloroplasts get their green color from chlorophyll, which helps change sunlight to chemical energy. A chloroplast takes CO2 and water, adds sunlight, and makes sugar and oxygen, which is released. Let's end with a chloroplast song. The photosynthetic red. The sun hits the chloroplast, remember them? Stuff with chlorophyll, now let's talk about the pen. We owe it all to the main green pigment, absorbing all the sunlight, that's us being sun. Carbon dioxide and H2O. Mix with light energy to make a crazy combo. Water in the cytoplasm chills for a few. Then hydrogen and oxygen split into two. The atoms recombine to make C6H12O6. A sugar called glucose. You simply gotta know this. The result is important to you and to me. Oxygen release from the plants and the trees. Vacuoles are organelles that store water and waste. Much like a water tower stores water for a city. Vacuoles are storage sacs in plant and animal cells. They are not found in bacterial cells. In addition to storing water, vacuoles also store some waste. Let's take a look at the difference between the vacuole in a plant and animal cell. On the left, you'll notice that the vacuole for the plant cell is very large and there's one central. The vacuole in animals are much smaller. In animal cells, the vacuole is little more than a large vesicle, which means it's a membrane-bound sac that can be filled up with water or waste material. And there's more than one in an animal cell. In a plant, it is much larger and you have a central vacuole. It is used to support the plant and in this next video you can see what happens when the vacuole is filled up with water. Vacuoles are not found in bacterial cells 
And some single cell protists have what is called a contractile vacuole, which opens and closes to regulate the amount of water inside the protist. Take a look at a contractile vacuole. In summary, a vacuole is used for storage of water and waste and helps regulate the amount of fluid inside a cell. The cytoskeleton of a cell acts a little bit like our own skeleton. It helps give the cell support and helps with movement, much like our skeleton supports us and helps us move. I'd like to say you can find the cytoskeleton here or there but it is in fact everywhere in the cell. This video gives you a very simple illustration of the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is made up of three types of protein fibers. The largest in diameter are the microtubules. They are involved in the mitotic division spindle fibers and the cilia and flagella of the cell. The intermediate filament are medium in size and they help structure and support the cell. And finally the microfilaments are the smallest and they are found in red in this picture. All three of these types of protein fibers work together to make the cytoskeleton help the cell support and move objects. The main functions of the cytoskeleton are first cell shape much like our skeleton or the frame of a house supports the house, cell movement inside and out, these cilia are made of micule tubules, they also form a highway of fibers that the organelles and proteins can use to move about the cell. They also help move organelles in place and finally they strengthen the cell by giving it support, much like our skeleton strengthens us. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math and Science uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.